If y'all gonna be great on that field, you gotta have a why. You gotta have a reason for why you do what you do. Yo, what's up, people? This your boy Kool Aid Man 100X back to the Ooh Kill 'Em Guide Part Three. So the next formation we're going to be working on is single back ace pair. A very good formation to come out in, come out in an HB stretch and random play. So what we're going to do here, guys, put these audibles in your, you know, find the audibles for you. Is the first audible is HB dive. The second audible is tight end option. The third audible is P A N around. And the fourth audible is HB stretch, which is very good. We're going to start off with the HB dive. The HB dive, if you're aggressive forward, you can definitely see all the block that pushes for you. You can cut back out to the side and it definitely give you a nice run up the seam. So that's one play to definitely look at the block for you. You can go back and check that out. And the next audible we're going to be doing is the tight end option, which is very good because you're going to look for that tight end. What y'all want to do is put the inside tight end on the drag and put Avery on a re-out route and smart route him. And you can put Charles on a wheel route if you want. It's optional or you can block him depending on the defense and how they react. So the first guy you want to look for is probably that tight end dragging or that tight end to the outside, which is Kelson. And he had definitely changed the game for you on the outside. He actually dropped that. But I definitely go over with you how he uh, got open. So... I drop that and what you want to do here the first your first read is always going to be this tight end because he cannot be guarded at this so this is a definitely a definitely a good play to come on in Avery would definitely be open on the left outside route so that I definitely open it up for you and also guys Bo if you wait for him if you definitely have time in the pocket he had definitely run in the middle of the seam and definitely get a nice conversion on the ball so the other thing about this guys is that Kelsey would definitely be open. He would cut to the outside, go to the right side, and cut up the field for a nice little seam route. So that definitely, you know, bring a different dynamic to the offense and you know switching it up will definitely be your turn. So the third audible will be is P A N around. So what you want to do for this guys is put Avery on an out route to the left. That's pretty much it, and put the inside wide receiver on a streak. Now what you want to do guys is look for the streak to be open if you want and just pass lead to the tight end or pass lead to the other tight end. It's depending on how do you throw it and you know who do you see open because it brings a different because you can fake it and throw it up top and leave him wide open right there. So I'll definitely go over an instant replay for you. So if he fakes with the play action and doesn't touch him. All you want to do is look for this nice little pass up the seam with the tight end to the right. You can definitely look for this out route. Always look for the out route on your first read because sometimes they are not guarded. What's really good about Kelson, he goes to an out route to the left. And also, if he guarded too tough, you can always check down to Charles with an out route to the right as well. So they both going in sync with the out route. So that's really good. Check that play out if you like it. The next audible we're going to be working on is HB stretch, which is really good. All you have to do is aggressive to the right, slide protection to the right, and just look for your open outside run. So once you see it, definitely open up the field for you. So that, you know, I hope you like this guy, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. The other parts will be up soon. Deuces, guys.